must be a way to free it. I need to see what's inside. Yes, little one. Bump up, bump up, bump up, bump up. Ah, uh, what? Did I drift off? That dream. God, it felt so real. The hair on the back of my neck is still standing on end. We did it! We made it out of the basement. That took longer than it should have. I'm sorry, I'm drunk. My oxygen levels are already full. My oxygen levels are full! Declan. Declan. Response. Calm still down. I really like Declan. I hope he's not Declan. New password seven three five seven 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 Listen, 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 No, 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 keep it on. Let's go. Guys, I'm getting spooked. Getting majorly spoopy, dude. Oh no. I need more booze. I hope to God he's in the habitat. I love you, Declan. Please don't be dead. I'll be the saddest boy if you're a dead man. If it was a dream, then why is my scar still warm? Why indeed. Okay, one stack of rocks, fine. This though, Declan is either really bored or somebody I don't know. Let's just hope he has too much time on his hands. I'm freaked out too, friend. I'm freaked out too, friend. He's not dead. He's undead. Although you're not helping. I like Declan. 
He's a okay bro. He's a funny man. He's got that charisma. He knows how to make me smile. Just for a while. He's never let me down. He doesn't clown around. He's my friend. Declan. This is a lot of rocks stacked in strange formations. I don't want to be here. Do you ever give you up? You never gave me up. You never let me down. You never ran around and hurt me. Declan, you here? Declan, it's empty? No! Declan! Damn it, where are you? Don't freak out. Just find out where he is. <sighs> this place. Josie was right. Jesus, I didn't know it was like this. How does he live like this? No! Slight fluctuation in array rotation during calibration. Diagnostics for self-clean systems require filter replacement. Slight dip in power to non-critical systems due to solar array. Generator power at 94.7, which is pretty good. Eva to recent rock slide at a heavy transport elevator to be. Estimate to clear and assess. Three days. Emergency protocol. Something's wrong with the dish. Circuit box. No prior warning. Just sparks flying mid transmission. Yeah, there was a sandstorm. But we've never seen a blackout like that. Circuit's fried while I'm sitting there. Had to manually reboot the backup generator slash servers. Which should have automatically engaged. I don't know. New to do, I guess. Temporarily reroute circuit boxes, run a bio gauge scan, and manually calibrate satellite dish. Where the fuck is Shane? That's me, I'm Shane. All personnel. Due to a recent sandstorm, a servo malfunction caused site-wide communications to be down for several hours. Backup servers have been activated and will function as the new primary communication network, though at a significantly reduced intensity and radius. Chief Engineer Shane Newhart has been informed of the damage and will be tasked with circuitry repairs. Until then, expect intermittent calm interruptions while the network is reestablished. Thank you for your understanding. Management. Code name herp derp number letter 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 nope. Nope for Shane. Hey Shane. Where the fuck are you? If you see this, we're headed back to base. We waited. But you were nowhere. I'm with Josie and Lucas, and we're taking the rover back. In lose contact for a second, your rover coordinates disappear, and suddenly, the satellite goes fucking wacko. I don't know if it was the freak sandstorm or what, doesn't matter. Get the fuck back to base. Contact us. Whatever you can do. I just hope you see this. Declan. Hi, Philip Maris. How's it going? I'm drunk and you're cute. Bye. I need sad music. I don't have sad music. I just have drunk cute. So we missed him. What is this? Blood? 
arrow dot? Arrow circle? Crosshair? I would like you to sexually harass me now that you are the best at being sexual harassment. Oops, I didn't open it. This is not clean. No, 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 no. Declan, write your fantastic adventures. Dad. Dad gave this to me. We had this little 12 by 10 by 10 case of personal effects that we could seal up before launch, and I almost left this behind, but it helps to write sometimes. Not sure why lying bothers me so much. My dad, my sister, they still think I'm freezing my ass off for climate studies in Antarctica. I don't know about fantastic adventures, Father Dearest, but last night I dreamed I was one of those celebrity dance shows, and my partner was Catherine Hepburn, and we won! even though she was obviously dead. But it was great. Then I woke up, wrote down my numbers from space, wrote for six hours, and drilled a tiny hole into 17 rocks, all while being a single reinforced pane of glass away from death. It's a real roller coaster here on Mars. Must be the Gaelic side of me coming out. I've been building cairns. I used to do a lot of hiking. I'd get annoyed by the little rock piles people would leave would build along the trails as if to say, I was here. I have f developed fine motor skills. Look at me! But the bonus of hiking on Mars is the leave no trace ethos is kind of optional on a completely deserted wasteland. During EVAs, I started to, <laughs> to just take a moment, grab a few loose pieces, and build a cairn. My little Zen garden, balancing rocks, it felt nice. Lately, though, I see the rocks moving. I tested my theories, although in the fuck-all, most limited, unscientific way, I'd make a new stack with the finest Martian rock samples I could find, pristine, dusty rocks, and then I'd wait a day. They wouldn't fall over, no. That'd be too simple. One stack would have a sim single rock swapped. Not an easy rock, like the top piece, but a centerpiece. One centerpiece swapped from the stack to the other. No glove marks, nothing. Just two shitty Martian rocks that I swear changed places in the middle of the night. Why am I writing this? When a person is drowning, their throat seizes up, preventing water from entering their lungs, but also air. The reflex is so strong, you could be floating there with your mouth well above the water's surface, unable to cough, unable to breathe. You don't drown because you're underwater. You drown because you're self. Stick a needle in the webbing between your toes. It sounds so horrific, like your natural reflexes would kick in, but it's the reverse. The emotions dive, the depression slams you with singular focus. Your mind just starts justifying it all, releasing a hint of those chemicals. You're pretty much a tiny little voice trying to control this monstrosity. It's nearly impossible. And so this natural reflex to hurt yourself so terribly and specifically becomes everything. Are you drown in it? Jesus Christ. My hand is shaking. I think I'll sleep a base tonight. I gotta get out of here for a bit. I haven't been sleeping well. Understatement. Sometimes I can, can't tell whether I'm awake, awake or dreaming. The numbers keep coming. The messages start to make sense. Spending time at the base doesn't help. It's a hassle trying to come up with reasons why I need a rover ride every day. Just a bit of casual hallucinations, everyone. Nothing to worry about. If you could pick me up before the flashback starts at around 6 in the evening, I'd be swell. Maybe I'll build another cairn. Let the witch move the rocks around. Fun pastime. Wish I had a beach chair and a margarita. Might as well enjoy my descent into insanity. I saw the witch today. I'm still shaking. Looked out the window and my sister is standing on the cliffside. My sister! She was stark naked out in the nothing of Mars. Choking. Eyes bulging out of her head like a goldfish falling out of the bowl. Nearly killed myself throwing my suit on. I get out there, I run! 
stumbling around to the barriers. Instead, there's a person with a paleness to her, deep black hair, and she is facing away. Looking out over the endless dunes, when she turns to look at me, it's not my sister. A deep black hole where a face might be, a gray slit rolled into a smile. I feel and taste granules of sand pouring into my open mouth and suddenly I can't breathe. She slowly draws near as I slam my fist on my chest, trying to breathe. Tendrils of blackness reach out from the endless void in her skull, sinking into the desert, trying to pull me under. And I wake up, asking for air. I don't lose it like this. Just don't! Fuck this! I love it. Shit, this is bad. I'm sorry, Declan. I didn't know how bad it was. He can't stay alone out here anymore. He needs help. He do need help. You know who else needs help? <laughs> Me. Jimmy Corona. J -j -j Jimmy Corona. He just mouse. Quaid! Open your mind, Quaid! It's me! You! Quaid! It's a weird ga game to hear Drunk Greg read. It's a weird game for Drunk Greg to read. I should probably put on this here helmet. Whoopsies! I keep fucking up the order. It's fine. Just a little eye bulging. Just a little vacuum of space. It's fine. Everything is great and awesome for me. Cause I am not drunk at all. I am great. Ha ha ha. Not drunk even a little bit. Do 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 do. Trying to drunk kind of sort of maybe drunk. Oh hi. Boop. Has there actually been any spooky yet, or is it just in writing? No, there's been spooky. There's been tentacle monsters, and there's been lady faces, and there's been the Cherber Gerbers, and lots of tentacles. Shadow, you keep trying, but I'm not spooked, because I'm too dang drunk. More vodka. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Holy shit! God, oh fuck! Please just be a meteor. Is that a meteor? Oh my god! Oh no, I was too drunk to appreciate that moment. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's just the little circle filled with joy and happiness. Do do do. We're super not scared, cause we are men. Manly, manly men who are never scared. Never, ever, never. Super scared. Do, 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 please don't let me in here. Oh, it's fine. Yay. Why did we do that? Baseballs, punch out. Does this says baseballs? Boop. Ah, burning plastic. Definitely a short in the system. No power. Okay. Yes, emergencies connect device to reroute power between units designed by anal technologies at the official power conduit in Victus mission during critical systems. I need to find failure. a way to reroute power around the damaged nodes. Oh, them nodes. Them node boys be super damaged.
We did it. Read it. No, Roberto. It was a really interesting choice having the world be so bright and sunny. The tension still works pretty well. I mean, it's Mars. It's a hot, Marsy day. I'm sure at some point we will have a hot, Marsy evening. I feel like we're not done here. Is there more that we need to power? No, it's powered. Oh, here we go. This panel distributes power between the dish and the PC terminal. And that busted node means I can only power one of them at a time. The fuck? How am I supposed to get both these things? You cannot. You cannot. Listen, you can't expect me to not be super drunk when I'm super drunk. Okay, Cora. Cora, okay. Drink water. Drink my nut juice. This circuit box is amping up the current. Too much Fuck power you. will fry the system. Too little, and the dish won't work. We need nine. Bad you. We have three plus one is four plus one is five plus two is seven plus three is ten. But okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sandstorm's picking up again. Things just keep getting worse. Okay, the dish is powered, but I don't know how to operate it. I hope Declan has the manual. Y'all are buttholes! Oh, hey, calibration is required. Needs to be calibrated to the proper coordinates with my bio gauge. Maybe Declan left a note on the PC. Hey, dirty! 
Welcome to Spoopy Tuesday, where I get super duper uber drunk and play games that scare the shit out of me. We have achieved super duper uber drunkness and bloop 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 scary. Where's the computer? Is, are you a computer? I need a computer. Excuse me. It's a very, it's the funnest time. Everyone agrees. My Yelp reviews are like five out of five. Nobody, nobody disagrees. Where's the computer? Especially not Alder. How you doing there, friend? If you guys don't know Dirty99, he is the coolest dude. He plays the shit out of VR games. And they're and he's so good at them. Needs to be calibrated in the proper coordinates with my bio. Page. Maybe Declan left a note on the PC. It needs to be the proper coordinates. I need the coordinates from the PC. How do I access the PC? I can't leave. Six out of five. Correct. I'm the best. How the fuck do I find this PC so I can find the coordinates if I can't leave? Alder is disappointed the example you're setting for Coda. Coda, don't be a fool, stay in school. There you go. I did the best job I can. Doing great. I just got back from axe throwing. Listen, you can't be this manly. I can only, my boner can only get so high. Needs to be calibrated to the proper coordinates with my body. Maybe Declan left a note on the PC. He says that he left a note on the PC. How do I access the PC? Which PC is it? How do I leave? Let me out. The one behind the locked door, obviously. But it's the door. The door is locked. This needs to be nine. This is nine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Oh. Wait, no, that's not a window. I mean, it is a window. How do we unlock the door? How do we unlock the door? Unless it's one of these computers that aren't responding to me. No power. How do I power the computer? Oh, I figured it out. I figured it out, chat. We figured it out. Chain goes missing. Lose contact with Serrano. Then circuit boxes start going haywire. Pull just enough power to turn the dish into Josie and get some sort of signal, then it all just resets. What a beautiful fucking day on Mars. Reminder, 
Sure, Orochi will find out I'm breaking encryption rules, but I can never remember the constantly changing code schedule. Code name, our glorious leaders. Chatterbox. Com Relay Satellite, contact base. Rostand equals Serrano. Marble equals where Antarctica is. Calibration and calibration must be performed manually via BioGage after security authorization via ID badge. Due to potentially compromising aspects of calibration and outgoing signals, access to calibration routines is limited to engineering staff. After initial calibration is achieved, the Angelus Communications Array utilizes a mated, automated rather, routines to maintain calibration. Note that if the targeted signal cannot be followed, for example due to ongoing to going under the horizon, the Angelus will need to be manually calibrated when the signal is available. General signal quality should be maintained at a, or above 85% at all times. Lower signal quality may re, uh, result in interruptive, uh, interruption of service per Orochi security policies. Calibration may, information may not be stored in any form, encrypted or otherwise. <sighs> File generated every 15 minutes by script. User, Declan, home, scripts, home's coordinates. 140, 61, 12, 78, 150, negative 158, 43, 56, 72. We're trying to, uh, what? Contact base? Chatterbox? Negative 158, 43. <laughs> Hi, Ginger. How much man is per moon? I am very drunk because I get drunk on Spooby, Spooby Tuesday. Koda, I could not appreciate you more for doing that thing that you just Powered did. up. It's I hope I'm not too the locked door. It's a hidden one. I'm back. Welcome back, Steven. Did you leave your pew 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 shirt at my place? Did I? It's entirely possible. I have a, is it a large pew 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 shirt with a unicorn playing on a keyboard that says pew pew pew? <laughs> Black. God damn it. <laughs> I lost my sunglasses and I left my shirt? What the fuck? <laughs> yes. Could you possibly send it to me? Actually, well, okay, well, sending it will be a lot. You found the sunglasses, too? Oh, damn it. Well, at least you found the sunglasses. I appreciate you, Patrick. <laughs> I am very drunk. No, my blue sunglasses, I left them there because I didn't lose them. They're 1,000% mine. They're purple. No, I said blue. Purple. I left my purple sunglasses at your place. I was so sure that I even texted at you. They're not blue. They're purple. Okay. Right, well, maybe I didn't. No, these are blue aviators. No, nope, they're not mine. I don't own blue aviators. I lost my purple Twitch guns and glasses somewhere else. Then, that's on me. Pew 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 shirt though. Let me go check my closet real quick because I'm pretty ninety percent sure that I, it would be there because I just did laundry. And if it's not there, then I'm pretty sure you have it. Pew 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 shirt is missing. <laughs> I am slightly drunk. I'm very drunk. This is generally more drunk than I've been on stream in a while. Mm. But I haven't done a pew I haven't done a st oh. I haven't done a fucking spoopy stream in forever. What negative one fifty eight forty three. I have watched it and I will send it thank you so much. I was about to say, I will text you my address right now. I was about to say, I'm going to be in, I'm going to be in Anaheim Thursday through Sunday morning. I don't know if that's more convenient than shipping it to me. Probably not. It's probably still like an hour and a half drive. Let me just message Patrick real quick. Gotcha. 
Absolutely not. All right. I do not want to go to L.A. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, that's fine. I don't know. I didn't think it was. I just thought I'd drop the drop the option. There, that is my shipping address. Good night, Patrick. Thank you for finding my shirt and shipping it to me. So many drinks. Shut up, Coda. <laughs> Hold on. One, what is it, negative? Negative. Negative 158 and 43. Is the pit? It's 43. 43. Negative 158. What thong? Oh shit. Did I leave my goddamn... You know what? I probably left my jockstrap there. <laughs> oh, it was a joke. Oh, fuck. I'm pretty sure I... <laughs> Fucking shit. I wore a black and red jockstrap to TwitchCon. Everybody knows now. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, uh, go fuck yourself, Jesus. <laughs> Killed it. Oh, whatever. You know what? I'm a I'm a 30 year old man. I can wear whatever the fuck I want. Jesus. <laughs> it was 158, right? All right, 158. All right, there you go. How is that no signal? It's the one. It's it's a hundred percent. Here we go. I cannot breathe. I was just supposed to go with it, but I legitimately wore one. I just <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Connected. What do we do now? We calibrated. Connect. Use radio T. Okay, here we go. I don't know. In case I left my jock strap at your house, <laughs> that's how I would know. T. Use the radio. Select radio Whoa. item. <laughs> all hands on deck situation. Crash landed. Oh my God, Commander Wilcox, where are you? Something. New heart. Do you copy? There is a creature roaming Trailblazer Alpha. Do not return to base. Repeat, do not. I can't hear you. You're cutting out. We are at base. We need to investigate the Cyrano crash site. No, 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 no. Commander Wilcox. Wilcox. Please call. Oh, shit. Associates. 